Hey, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can create these cool introduction screens when you first start up your app. These are really useful for giving your users a good idea about what your app is meant to do. And it's actually pretty easy to implement. So let me show you real quick by jumping into the code. Now, just to keep everyone on the same page, I've just got here in my main function running my app and I've got this onboarding screen, which is just a stateful widget and inside I've got here a blank scaffold so this should just be a blank app. Now first of all in the body I'm going to show you the page view which is an important widget for this tutorial. I actually made a separate tutorial covering page view in more detail so check that out if you need but just real quick inside the children if we create a container and let's say we have a blue color and we create a couple more of these Maybe let's change the second one to yellow and the third one to green. If you save this, then you should be able to get this swipeable page view. Now at this point, I want to have kind of some dot indicators at the bottom, just showing what page we're on. So a really useful package to import here is called the smooth page indicator, which we can import in our pubspec.yaml file. This one I also made a separate tutorial for if you want to know a bit more in depth about this particular package. But just to show you how it works, if you add it into your popspec.yaml file and save it, we can close this file and then coming back to the onboarding screen, let's grab this page view and let's put it inside of a stack. And then beneath this we can add the dot indicator. So if you start typing smooth, you should be able to see there the smooth page indicator. And this one's going to require two things. So the controller and also the count of how many pages we have. So the controller we haven't created yet, which we'll get to in just a second. For the count, it's how many pages you're going through. So for us, we'll say three. And just coming to the top, what this controller is for is just basically keeping track of what page we're on. So let's create this page controller. And then if you look under the page view, you should be able to see the controller option. And so let's give this our controller that we just created. So this just keeps track of what page we are on right now. Now, if you save this, the dot indicator is kind of scrunched up at the top. So what I'm going to do is wrap this page indicator with a container and just specify this alignment. Now, if you're not exactly sure how this alignment works, you can see it requires an X and a Y. And so basically if you have zero, zero, that's going to be in the middle. It's looking good already so far, but I kind of want it near the bottom side. So the X we can just keep in the middle and the Y value, we can say like 0.5. And so essentially these numbers are between one and minus one. And so the positive numbers are toward the bottom, whereas the negative numbers are towards the top. So I want it near towards the bottom. So let's say like 0 0.75, you can control wherever you want to put this, but I think that looks pretty good. Now at this point, instead of creating all of our pages in this file, let's try to keep it a bit more clean and let's encapsulate this code into a different file. So in the library, Let's create a new folder called intro screens and let's create a new file called intro page one dot dot and let's create a few more of these so intro page two and intro page three and now in each of these files let's just import the material dot dot and now inside here we can do all the decoration that we need. So again, let's just give these some random colors so that we can differentiate between them and just copy it and create another page for the second one. Let's just change up the color and copy it for the third page as well. Coming back to our onboarding screen, technically you could do all of your decoration for each page right here, but just to keep our code nice and clean, we can get rid of all this and just say intro page one, intro page two, and finally intro page three. And then when you're modifying anything on the page, you can just come to the individual files and do your decoration there. 
cool so just for now let's just put in a text widget just saying page one and page two and page three and in each file you can come back to it to do the decorations later okay now let's just close these individual pages for now and let's come back to the dot indicators and what I want to do here is I want to wrap this in a row because on the left side I want a button to skip and on the right side I want to have a button to go next and also if we're on the last page I also want to change it to be done so that we can exit all of these introduction screens so let's create a text widget just saying skip and then create another text widget and then we'll say next and if we save this it's going to automatically be aligned to the very left so let's come to the row and specify this main axis alignment to be spaced out evenly cool so now if we want the users to be able to tap these buttons let's wrap this in a widget called gesture detector which does exactly what it says it detects a gesture and so when the user taps it we can do some cool things with the controller so we can go to the next page and the duration let's just say 500 milliseconds and the curve is just the style of animation so you can play around with this one but i'm just going to choose ease in and so if we save this and test this out let's see what happens if we hit skip it just goes to the next page now this one is actually more appropriate for the next button right rather than skip so let's do the same thing for the next text widgets and in the on tap let's just grab what we had before this one we actually want to just paste down here yep there we go and of course you can still swipe around but the user can also tap on these buttons now for skip what we want to do is we actually want to go to the very last page so in this on tap function for the controller you should be able to see a jump page somewhere there it is jump to page and this one zero is the first page and then we've got one for the middle one and then two is our last page so let's just put in two and then if we save this and press skip it'll just jump right to the last page awesome now the last thing i want to implement is when we're on the very last page i actually wanted to say instead of next i wanted to say done and so let's just come up to the top here and let's try to keep track of if we're on the last page or not so a good thing to use here would be a boolean right a true or false value and let's just call it on last page and at the beginning we'll initialize it to be false and so if you come back to the page view there's an option here that says on page changed and this value tells us what page we're currently on so as i said before zero one and two are the different pages we have and so let's just call it index and if the page is changed then let's set the state and let's grab this boolean value on last page and i want to know right is this true or is this false so what we're going to do is we just want to check what is the index if it's two then that means we're on the last page right so if index is equal to two then this will return true and then that will tell us what the on last page value is cool so now that we have this boolean to check if we're on the last page or not we can do some cool things down here so if you come back to the button at the very bottom we can check on last page and then if you put a question mark here we can say on last page if it's true then return this first widget otherwise return the second widget and let's just change one of the text widgets to be done and oops we should actually switch this around so the first one should be done and then the next one should be next cool so let's test this out so currently it says next and if we click and come to the last page you can see it switches to done because we're on the last page awesome now once we're on the last page there's no more pages to go to so we don't want to go to our next page so let's get rid of this what we want to do here is we want to navigate to a completely different page so we're going to use a navigator.push here and so in flutter this is how we're going to do this 
and we want to return to the home page, which we haven't created yet. So let's come to the library and create this home page. So this will be the home page of your app once we're done cycling through these intro screens. And so real quick here, let's just create a basic scaffold. And in the middle, let's just say a text widget saying home page. Awesome. So again, just to quickly sum up, the on last page is a Boolean that returns a true or false value. And so if it's true and we are on the last page, then we want to display this widget that says done. And if it's false and we're not on the last page yet, then we want to keep displaying the next widget. Cool. So if we swipe around and then the last thing becomes done, we can click this and then go to the home page. And then this is where you can start to build your app. Cool, and that's it. So that's the mechanics of how you would code and implement an introduction screen like this. Now, everything else at this point is up to you for what you want to display on each of these pages, right? So if you go to, for example, just the first page in here, you can start to add and describe what your app actually does. Right, so just put some images and some nice decorations. One of the cool things I recommend is to use maybe some animations or some nice images. And so you can check out my animations video that I made recently to make your introduction screens a little bit more lively and more fun to look at. Play around with it and let me know if you have any problems. But other than that, that's it for this one. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!